welcome back to my channel i just wanted to hop on here to let you guys know that i am going to be doing a series on distance learning uh, with my children obviously they're going to be going back to school for the 2020 2020 2021 school year and i just wanted to make sure not make sure sorry i just wanted to kind of um, vlog the experience and how the distance learning is working for us so before I get into the little mini haul that I did at Target, um, I just wanted to briefly kind of talk about the school district and how difficult it was. So as you guys know, I do have three kids. My daughter is a senior. My youngest son is in eighth grade. My middle child is a going to be a uh, sophomore this year. So last year at the end of the school year, it was very difficult. Uh, with the pandemic that when it when the pandemic hit it got very uh, difficult everything here shut down school district shut down meaning they closed the schools and it was at home learning so when that happened I am considered an, an essential worker so when that happened it was very difficult because I was working a modified schedule some days I would be in, at work and some days I would be at home working from home the kids would every day of the week would be going to school but remotely obviously on their laptops it was very difficult because my two oldest that are in high school right now they are what is called a four by four block if you guys are not familiar with that that means that they have eight classes a day uh, and they split their days into A days and B days, meaning they have four classes each day that they go to school, whether it's an A day or B day. So an A day is like one, three, five, seven, a B day is two, four, six, eight. Then I have my youngest son that is in a, uh, just six classes. I don't know what that is called, a three by three, I think maybe. Or not big three by three, but a three block or six blocks, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying here. Um, so he has six classes. So it was very difficult because all of the teachers worked on different platforms. They didn't stick to one as like Google Meets, right? My youngest son was on Google Meets, most of his teachers. There was a couple of his teachers that used a different platform. So he would have to go and log in and it would be very difficult to manage that, manage my at home working as well as my um, high schoolers. Then it's coming to my high schoolers. Even though they had four classes a day, it still got very, became very difficult because their teachers were sending them multiple things, multiple things, even the teachers that it wasn't that day for them to be in their class. They were still sending them things. So it became very um, overwhelming for my children and myself uh, for a little bit there, just because it was just so much to keep track of. Um, the teachers were not grading the paperwork or the homework uh, that quickly. Then it became optional. So it wasn't very structured. So coming into this new school year is giving me a lot of anxiety because I want to make sure one it's my daughter's senior year I want to make sure that she has the grades right now um, but I want to make sure that she keeps those grades and this pandemic doesn't kind of hurt her in that aspect since she is a senior and is looking to go to college on my oldest son he is a sophomore this year and I'm hoping that he's able to do everything uh, and understand everything distance Learning. And then my youngest son, they're pretty structured at that school, meaning that they use Google Meets for everything. Now this year, though, uh, our school district is set on using one specific site, which is Canvas. Can Canvas? Yes. And then for teachers to get a hold of their students, they're going to be using Google Meets, Google Classroom that way but mainly all of their subjects or all of their work, classroom room work and homework will be online for m most of the work. There are there may be some things that they would have to do themselves. So I hope that my anxiety kind of goes down once the school starts, but I do have a lot of anxiety because of everything that's kind of just going on, but I'm just working through it, trying to get there. So with that, I did not feel that I should go and do this big uh, back to school shopping that we normally would do 
um, pre-pandemic, right? But I did want them to have some things uh, get themselves set up, make sure that they have everything that need, they need. So last year, I'm so grateful that I did this. Last year, I went ahead and bought my two boys laptops. So they have laptops. What the school district here is doing is that they are issuing out Chromebooks for students that are in need. Last year, they did need them, but this year, I opted not to get the Chromebooks. Although they are school-based and they could get one if they wanted to, I wanted to make sure that other kids that don't have the opportunity to have their own laptop at home could get one because they needed one. Um, so I opted out of getting a Chromebook because my boys do have laptops here um, that they can use and which the school district said we can utilize our own. I just hope that every student gets a laptop um, and I'm hoping that next semester, second semester, that they are able to do in person, but we will see. That's not until January, February-ish. We are gonna be, the first semester is gonna be at home or distance learning is what they're calling it. So it's gonna be distance learning for the first semester, um, August through January. And then they're gonna kind of reevaluate and see where we are are come January for just after the holidays for the second semester. I have a feeling that we're gonna be, this whole year is gonna be distance learning. That's just how I feel um, and that's my opinion. But without further ado, enough of me rattling on. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what I got. So I got some, just some regular pencils, which uh, my kids typically don't use these, they use um, mechanical pencils. But I did get these just in case because mechanical pencils, they don't last forever. Um, so I did get regular pencils as well. On top of that, I did get a, a um, pencil sharpener so we can sharpen the pencils, the regular pencils. I did get a calculator. I do have a couple other ones, but I don't want to show you all of the ones. But I did get uh, three of these guys. I did also get some extra... Um, lead for the mechanical pencils. Uh, we do have a lot here. I think uh, the mechanical pencils is a 50 count. And I think these were like $6.99 at Target. Um, the calculator was four bucks. The refillables were $4.99. This little pencil sharpener um, was 97 cents, I believe. And the pencils were $1.50. I also did get um, blue pins. I love these pins. I use them at work. I use blue or black. Um, so with that said, I did get a black pair. A black pair. Sorry. <laughs> I did get black as well. Some teachers like the um, here. Some teachers like the students to use blue pen um, for certain things. That's fine. Um, also, I did get some um, cap erasers to put on top of the uh, regular pencils or the mechanical pencils. Um, sometimes I feel like the mechanical pencil eraser just goes out so quickly and then you're stuck not using eraser so you gotta make sure that you're writing properly or you can't erase nothing. So these are a good save for you. They work wonders, I love them. Then I went out and also got um, some college rule loose leaf paper. So I got um, a few bundles of these just in case the kids need to use it for whatever, honestly. Um, if they need to use it as scrap paper, they need to create a book, whatever they need to do. So I got that. And then I also went ahead and got some spiral notebooks as well. Um, again, college rules, uh, ruled. Um, wide ruled is kind of like, I don't know, the kids don't like to use it. Um, unless it's specific by the teacher, I don't get it. Um, I we like the college ruled. Um, so just a one subject notebook. Um, some teachers make them like keep a journal, things like that. My um, youngest son, his uh, teachers, they more so ask for the um, spiral notebooks. Um, just so I feel like I say um a lot. I'm so sorry. I need to stop saying um. So his teacher likes him to use my youngest son's teachers likes him to use. Um, I said um again. college ruled one subject notebooks. That is basically my whole haul. I didn't go all out, get any crazy. So I hope you guys um, like it. Other than that, if you guys like this, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And also don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.